So in our last example here for tangent, we have a phase shift, but we still do everything the same. Our vertical asymptotes occur when what's inside of our tangent equals negative pi over 2 or pi over 2. Subtracting pi from both of these, x equals negative 3 pi over 2 or x equals negative pi over 2. For my period, that's going to be 2 pi, or pi over 1, which is pi. So for my second period, I know it's going to start at negative pi over 2, and it's going to end pi away from that, which is positive pi over 2. So if I'm setting up my axis, I know that I have to have more of a negative side because most of this is negative. So this is going to be positive pi over 2. This is going to be negative pi over 2. And this is negative 3 pi over 2. And we know between all of these, or through all of these, it's going to be a vertical dashed asymptote. So now let's split up these intervals. In the middle here is 0. This is pi over 4. This is negative, oh, negative pi over 4. So then we're going to split this up. This is going to be negative 3 pi over 4, negative 4 pi over 4, which is negative pi, and negative 5 pi over 4. You should start to see a pattern. So we know in the middle of each of these periods we cross 0. And since there is no reflection, um, we're only going to go up our amplitude, which is 1. So we go up 1, down negative 1. So that means for this period we're going to start up, which is going to be at pi over 4, 1. And we're going to end down over here, negative pi over 4, negative 1. Up, <coughs> excuse me, up here, negative 3 pi over 4, 1. Down over here, negative 5 pi over 4, negative 1. And now we can connect these with our non-reflected tangent curves. Two full periods, knowing that we'll never cross those asymptotes.